Oh, good boy. Good boy. We opened up the cage and gave him a few minutes. He just sat there very nervously, sort of wanting to come out. You could see that he immediately wanted to trust us. Oh, yeah. oh, you do love them. When he came out of the crate and he came up to me, well done. <laughs> I was crying my eyes out. Brooklyn literally flown halfway across the world to come and live with us. Back to September of last year, a friend of mine sent me a link on Instagram to a charity. It's you. They rescue dogs in China from the meat trade. They rehabilitate them. I saw the picture of him, fell in love with him, applied for him via their website. And thankfully we ticked all of the boxes. <laughs> for the first week he slept in the crate. He was so nervous. We would leave the door of that open. We put some blankets on it. So that he could get used to the smells and the new surroundings. We were giving him treats. Good boy. He's got his own little spot in the bedroom. Day by day, there were more and more things he would explore in his own time. Okay. You could see that Brooklyn just wanted to love us, be more around us. It's just, it's heartbreaking that he's been through so much, but still is so forgiving. Also having a second dog, Stanley, was a huge lifesaver. Brooklyn very much looks up to him as his big brother. If Stanley does it, then Brooklyn feels safe to do it. They can just run in the garden and play together. They roll around like lions. It looks like a scene from The Lion King. When they met, they just clicked. It was like Stanley knew how wonderful Brooklyn was and how loving he was. Now they genuinely adore each other and follow each other everywhere. It feels like Brooklyn's been here forever. Over time, his eyes have changed. There's a whole new glow in his eyes and he has a whole new lease of life. He adores us and he loves his home so, so much. And that's the most amazing thing for us to have experienced. Happy birthday to you.